You can find me online. <laughs> what a weird opening. Hi Katie, my boyfriend and I have lived together for a few months now. He's a cat person and I'm a dog person. Now he's a pet cat and I am not allowed to have a dog. Despite this, I don't think he's completely without a soul and would like to work it out. How can I get my furry friend and still keep my boyfriend? Help, dogless in North Carolina. First off, I don't think you guys did your homework when you moved in together. Sometimes you're dating someone and you're like, oh, we're lovers, lovers are passionate, passionate lovers. And then you move in together and it's like, who the fuck left the dishes here? And that's not passionate. Yeah, you think your love is gonna balance that out? It doesn't! <laughs> I have moved many friends out of apartments. Then when you guys break up in six or nine months because you realize that he doesn't want kids and also you don't like his mother that much and you don't think that you can envision her being your mother-in-law, you're like, oh my God, I'm gonna move out. Then you have a dog and it's like, he wants to see that dog part-time and then he's hanging around your apartment and you're like, uh, Chelsea, I told you not to let him in again. And Chelsea's like, he wanted to see the dog. And you're like, oh my God. And then he's taking your DVDs and you're like, I guess we have to be friends now. And then he's dating your best friend, Bethany. You know, he was so fun in college, but his drinking has really gotten out of control. And it used to be like, yeah, okay, we're all going tailgating, but now it's like he's tailgating alone. And you're like, wow, Katie, calm down. This is a lot you've inferred from one question. I'm not saying that your boyfriend is cheating on you in any way, shape, or form, but I am saying like it doesn't seem like you did your due diligence before you moved in together. And I foresee that the end of your relationship will come hard and quick, much like most of my fuck sessions. <laughs> What? That was so graphic. I haven't gotten laid in a really long time and I've been very lonely. And then I started looking at butts on the train again and now I can't stop thinking about it. Okay, that was pretty graphic and I apologize to all the dads out there. And you're like, what about the moms? And it's like, what? listen, I don't need to apologize to anybody. Go fuck yourself. Okay, let's talk about puns. Do I like them? No, I don't. Case closed and another hot take taken. Let's talk about David Boreanaz though because he has a face like a thumb. Do I like it? No. Do I like it sometimes? Yes. How lonely am I on a scale of one to nine? 12? Okay, thank you so much. That's been Yell You Better. You can find us online at yellyoubetter.tumblr.com. You can find us on Facebook at backslash Yell You Better. You can find us on Twitter at Yell You Better. And you can email us questions at yellyoubetter at gmail.com. Good luck with your relationship, dogless in North Carolina. <laughs> so aggressive. <laughs> So good. No, I'm just kidding. You're doing great. You look great. Nothing will constrict my opulence.